Oh man, hello Stevie. So we are actually here doing a moto vlog in our own state together. Me. Also, we're trying out a whole new audio setup. I have a voice recorder on my helmet now. And we are no longer using the audio from the flipping GoPro because we all know now GoPros are not reliable anymore. But it feels absolutely wonderful to be out on a bike. And at home. Like in our own neck of the woods. Yes. Our own neck of the woods. <laughs> Look at all the bikes out. I love it. Oh. It feels so good to be out. It does. And it's crazy because we just got back from vacation, you know? But we had to work a whole week. Yeah, a whole week. Our vacation was a good time though, other than I lost probably two days worth of footage. Yeah, I'm here. Are you there? Babe? Are you there? Hello? Hi. What is going on? My S-I-R-I -I keeps turning on. What is that? If I say its name, he's going to come on. Is that why you keep not hearing me? Yes. Oh. Alright, so, so for some reason, we decided to go through downtown Lincoln. I did not decide to go through downtown Lincoln. For some reason... Amy wanted to come through downtown Lincoln. But how else can we best make sure that that suspension that I bought you for your birthday works? Um, so downtown Lincoln sucks. Hold on a right? second here. If I say it's be it's it's good, but it could be better. Uh, does that mean I can do the front right away? All right, so we can order it today. Talk. Oh, <laughs> oh no 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 because <laughs> this is already a CVO I mean you know should say Stevie O I thought that's what you said <laughs> <laughs> mine doesn't shake like yours either how come because you got the Milwaukee 8 that new motor you know oh okay all right here we go here's where the awesome bricks are downtown what in the world Usually we just get them all the lights. Oh, I this. hate these stoplights. Whose idea was this? Who? It was mine. Look at you. Taking off. Just taking off. This is definitely better. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, it's better. On the back. But it could be better, <laughs> you know. <laughs> no, it's it's a night and day difference. Was that way better? I mean, it was better. Really? Just it was better, but it wasn't. I don't know how to answer this. It's <laughs> night and day difference from what it was. Okay. Gosh, this road is cold. What are you talking about? I don't know what you mean. I mean, my front end bounces a lot. <laughs> and stuff. Here we go. <laughs> what? You. Oh, what? I'm just being truthful and honest and stuff. <laughs> Work? Yeah, that's fine. weird riding with no gloves. That yeah, is. We're not going very far though, so. Nope. Feels weird without a coat too. <laughs> I bet. It's a little crisp, but I, I do it just fine. <laughs> you say you got a long sleeve shirt today. You can just put that on if you wanted. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Yes, I did. Or you can put on one of your other shirts that you got today. <laughs> or one of your other shirts that you got today. Or that other one you got today, or maybe that other one you got today. Park in the front. While I have this moment, <clears throat> I want to let everybody know that the Great Plains 
Moto Meat Ride is May 30th. We are going to meet at Frontier Harley Davidson at 11 o'clock. And we will be going for a ride from there. Now, we have people from Oklahoma coming for this deal, South Dakota coming for this deal, Iowa, Kansas. It's uh, it's turning into a it's turning into a thing. So I know uh, I know Blacktop Devil is going to try his best to make it out. I don't know if he's completely decided on it or not, but yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a cool cool deal. So if you can make it out for it, that's great. Moto vloggers, you know, if you want to come and make a video with it, it's awesome. Uh, if you just want to come and ride with us, that's awesome too. Um, that's actually where we're going right now. We are going to head out on a possible route for the Great Plains Moto Meat Ride. It's like I can't just say it. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna we're gonna make a ride, and then um, the route's not decided yet, but the meetup time's decided, and the meet up place is decided. That's the important things. And then the ride and the route will come from there. I mean, let's face it, we're calling it a ride, you know, but it's gonna turn into a moto meet, right? It's just gonna be a get together, I guess. How about that? But it's gonna be a good time. Everyone's invited. I know there's uh, a couple people that are coming in the night before and uh, staying the night. Um, if we get enough people, maybe we'll do a, a dinner or something Saturday night somewhere. That's meet up, fun. meet up with everybody. Yeah. So what else is going on? Uh, there's this uh, there's this little thing going on that um, uh, is called uh, a world record poker run, and that is July 30th, leaving Tampa, Florida, and ending up in Sturgis. Um, so if anybody is interested in that, go to worldrecordpokerrun.com and sign up. It's 175 for one person, and if you've got a passenger, so if you're two up on your bike, then it's 200 bucks, which is cheaper than eight days of poker runs. Also, the 17th of April, we are going to do a videothon to raise money for veterans to go on the world record poker run for free. Now, when it started out, I was going to pay for a poker hand for a veteran, right? Which means I was gonna pay your 200 bucks so a veteran could go on the ride for free. But other people have gotten involved and Sonny and Angie are, are totally awesome people and they're like, why stop there? Let's take it to the next step. So we are going to pay for veterans entire trips. We are talking, we are paying for your hand. We are paying for your gas. We are paying for your hotel rooms. Once you get to Sturgis, you're on your own. From Tampa, Florida to Sturgis, you're covered. I know that Sonny the Badger has got a sponsor or two involved and he has, oh, hello, Mr. Fireman. So we've already got, uh, we've already got veterans paid for. Now it's just a question of how many veterans can we get paid for. More details on that to come, how you can donate and stuff like that. Um, during the videothon, you can donate through Super Chat. Just remember, YouTube will keep 30% of what you donate. Now, if, it's, if that's the way you want to do it, that's fine. We don't care. 30% of 10 bucks is better than no bucks. So yeah, so if you are a veteran um, or if you know a veteran, there is some criteria, right? You have to meet the criteria. So you have to have a bike that'll make it. We don't care how old your bike is, we just need to make sure that it's in shape to make it. You have to be able to make it. You also have to be able to get the time off. 
because if you start the poker run and don't finish the poker run then you don't go towards the world record right I mean that's still kind of the whole the whole point of this deal is that it's the world record poker run we're just trying to help veterans go on it for free because the veterans have given us so much um, we need to give back to them correct so this is our way of, of giving back we do know that the cutoff for nominations will be the 20th of April so if you know a veteran start talking to them now and see if it's something they would be interested in doing and see if they are able to get the time off now retired veterans you know yeah yeah right perfect <laughs> because you're retired so only nominate a veteran if you know they'll be able to make the poker run so this is one of the things I'm worried about is everybody crossing the highway here but why on Sunday Memorial Day it shouldn't be that bad should it oh yeah home bees is, is true I'm trying to make it too so we got people from Colorado coming also so everybody we need to uh, we need to have a little discussion also about the world record poker run I told Miss Stevie that when we ship her bike to Florida we should put the windshield on it and she should ride with her windshield and she said she's not sure about that and I say this is what I say I say you're gonna be doing almost 500 miles a day I think the windshield would help and even if you wanted to you could just wear your half helmet or no helmet and she says that she doesn't know if she wants to do that so you guys tell her what you think she should do <laughs> and she's a typical woman so she's what? still gonna do yeah she's still gonna do whatever she wants the problem with that is I can't see through it I can have your windshield cut down by then and then at the end of June we got to take her bike to Lowe's Hills Harley-Davidson because that's where Hall Bikes is gonna pick it up and then she ain't gonna see it again so she's in the sunshine state of Florida <laughs> but Miss Stevie's got this this little this little perk that not very many <laughs> of us have that she's got two bikes expect a lot of uh, fury videos while that bike is in the truck on its way down to Florida <laughs> man look at that view though huh but when we do get the route figured out, we will we will let you guys know what the route is in case somebody wants to join us like halfway through or something, you know. But we're going to be in the old Bohemian Alps. So I don't necessarily want you guys to see the route that we're going to do. So I think we'll end the video here. And then uh, if we like this route, we will let you guys know what the route is when it gets closer to the time so everybody if you like this video hit the like button if you want to see more stuff like this subscribe hit the bell notification so you know when we load up next and then until next time everybody stay cool and we will see you on the road <laughs>